John here guys and today we're talking about the UR UAV <laughs> UR85 HD the Bushido This is the latest of a string of Cinewoop type crafts to come out as of late and this one actually took me by surprise it comes with a nice little carrying case which contains a set of spare props another connector if you want to run this off of little micro jst um, whoop stall batteries it already has a adapter for an xt30 comes with a screwdriver an extra little strap and the camera control board to the caddx turtles which is on board this is very similar components to the Sailfly, but in a larger frame with ducks, it runs these two inch style props. They're kind of like a Jim Pan Hulky sort of. And uh, of course it is designed to, unlike the Cinebee, carry this 3S battery on the bottom. Now this is kind of a thing that I was a little skeptical about. It looks cool and it looks like a standard size whoop this you know pod is especially awesome looking it really does take that bushido name to heart it looks like some kind of samurai piece of equipment um now the reason i say it's close to a self like because this is running the crazy b pro v2 board much like the self fly uh, has a vtx on board all in one thing that's kind of strapped onto the back of this uh, top of this Caddx camera. I believe this is a 200 milliwatt uh, version. It's the same kind that's on the Ishin trash can. And it has the, um, it's relabeled URUAF, but it's really the uh, Happy Model 1102 motors. These are 9,000 kV. Um, so it's very close to the cell fly, but it's carrying a lot extra weight. So how can it perform? Well, I'm going to go ahead and take the risk and fly this one on 3S. I'm going to use this battery and I have been using it and I thought, how can this possibly compare to this, to the iFlight Cinebi? The iFlight has larger motors, has 1103s. The iFlight has a better control stack. In my opinion, it's the three layered 16 by 16 stack, not this loop class board. Um, it has a cooler looking frame and it has a top mount battery. In all, on paper, that should be a better quad. And for a flying camera type quad, getting smooth footage, it is a better quad. But let's distinguish. For most of the customers for this type of product, you're gonna have two different types of pilots. Those that want a flying camera-like experience, like a DJI, to get very nice, smooth footage. And you're also gonna have those who wanna fly this like a regular, outdoor whoop like a trash can or a cell fly they want to have fun doing crazy moves and record that footage in hd um, so in my mind the cinebi is actually the better of the flying camera things but it cannot do um, those power moves and i thought well maybe it's because i ran the cinebi on 2s let me try one of these 3s batteries on the cinebi and it really flew much the same i think the ingredient to that is the prop size the, the cinebi is using those 40 millimeter gem fan um, whoop class style props this is using a two and a half inch prop so the thrust off of this is so much more that you actually can do some power moves it's not quite as good as the sailfly on 2s because it does have a lot more extra weight but i was very surprised at the control and speed of this thing now i'll note that by default the caddx turtles on board uh, and they have the control board for the Caddx Turtles above the uh, FC ESC combo right here, and then the camera up at the front. So you have sort of a center of gravity that's a little bit different. Uh, it's going to be a little more bottom heavy because of this 300 milliamp um, 3S battery, and it's going to fly more like your traditional racing quad, where the bottom will kind of, you know, swoop out in the corners that really allows you to fly with a lot of control and precision but not necessarily smooth um you can get reason reasonably smooth 
lines in this thing, but it's not gonna be as good for capturing that HD footage as the Cinebeat. This though can do power loops, it can do power maneuvers. I'm gonna show you some of that. By default, this camera, the Cadex Turtles 2, is not set up to start recording on plug-in. I found that out the hard way, flew a couple of packs that were awesome. I looked on the card and there's no footage. So I had to use the little camera controller. I do like that they leave this little connector at the front so you can access it very easily. Just go into the menu that comes up on the screen on your goggles and set it to record on power on or auto record, whatever that setting is, and it will start doing it. Um, I did note that the image looks very clear, crisp, and it's a, it's a joy to fly when you are not recording. But when you record, something happens where it's like taxing the systems in some way and you start getting latency that's like three times worse. So when you are doing those power moves, it's kind of like everything's coming to your eyeballs delayed. And because I'm flying in familiar territory where I can kind of perform some of those moves based on timing, I was somewhat okay by doing that, but I'd almost say that by having the record feature on, you're gonna be messing with your timing, with your eyes. The latency is really kind of bad when this thing is. So I, I understand now why it was so critical for me to make my dual camera setup on the Acrobat, which the video is coming on that soon, because the latency ends up getting so terrible. So who is this for? This is for people that want to get HD footage, um, that fly in familiar spaces. You don't want to be exploring with this thing with the recording on because the latency is going to be an issue. But if you're flying in the same places and you want to get some nice footage or you want to get some smooth footage, it's not going to be as smooth as a Cinebee, but it will allow you to have more versatility in flying this like a normal acro quad. That's who it's for. It's kind of a better all-arounder, whereas the Cinebee is more of a... Uh, it's a FPV flying camera. It is the DJI Spark for people that fly FPV. This is more like your traditional Ishin trash can, just blown up with an HD camera strapped on board. That's what it's for, guys. Um, the Ishin Cinecan, which has the Tarsier camera on their dual camera setup, may be this, the answer that we're looking for, um, but this is also a really great option. So check it out, guys. Thank <laughs> you.